Hey, everybody. Uh, so when I heard we were doing lightning talks, I had this, uh, I was like, oh, I should think of something to talk about for a lightning talk, but I didn't have anything. And then that day, I kind of had like this really dumb, small, like epiphany for myself. Uh, and so I was like, oh, maybe I could do a lightning talk. And I tried to put some thoughts together and it just wasn't forming into a talk. So I was like, forget it, not going to do it. And then I saw we had some, anyway, I sort of impulsively just decided to get up here. So uh, forgive me. Um, so my name is Dustin. I work at a company called eBay. And I don't get to write a lot of Ruby these days, which makes me sad because I love Ruby so much. Um, but I get to write uh, uh, some Java, which doesn't make me that happy. Uh, but I also get to write some uh, JavaScript and am, am growing more and more in that every day. And I do like that, actually. So um, I, I was working in JavaScript when I sort of came to this thing. So when you're seeing things like position and minimum trigger position, like this was JavaScript code, and I just put it into Ruby syntax, but uh, to, to just be more palatable to the crowd. So I, uh, y you know, like I'm, I, I'm talking about UI element type things. Uh, none of that is actually important to what I'm doing uh, or to to the point that I'm trying to make. But it's. Uh, it's, I just wanted to know, like, what, what collapse, expand, like, these are things you do in the DOM, and yes, they are, but just go with it. Um, so, uh, as a, uh, a Ruby developer at heart, I have this um, need to, like, abstract small, like, pieces of code out of some methods and put them like into their own distinct method, right? Like it's just a thing I want to do naturally. Uh, and it's something that I sometimes get given a hard time about by the JavaScript developers that I work with. I get, uh, you know, s several times in different PRs I've gotten, well, why don't you just put that into that one function? You're only using it one time. Why bother pulling it out into its own thing? And, and up until, uh, yesterday, uh, I didn't really have a good reason. I was just like, I, I don't know, because I got to. Uh, and so, uh, I mean, but the, like, well, the thing, the idea that would come to mind was, well, for communication, so that I could, like, this is why you need to abstract this out. This is what makes it, um, is to communicate, like, what this thing is. So um, that that was kind of my, my go-to answer. And then I was, uh, working on some JavaScript code uh, yesterday, and, and this came to me. But before I get to that, uh, I was at a bookstore, and <laughs> I saw they had like these like reprints of, of kind of classic books, uh, all gilded and design stuff. And I saw one, it's, it's a classic. It's not like, old, like super old, but I saw the complete Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy there, and I was like, oh. Maybe I need to pick that up so I can read this. To, like, are my kids ready for some Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? I'm, I'm still deciding on that. Um, and so I had that on, on the brain. And for any of you that aren't familiar with Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, there's this part of the book, it's pretty, pretty early on in the first one, where uh, it talks about an, an alien race that it, also, it's been a while since I've read these. So if I don't get all the facts right, will you forgive me? Yes. Yeah? OK, good. <laughs> So there's this, uh, there's this alien race who uh, uh, is trying to figure out the answer to life, the universe, and everything. And so they build the supercomputer, and it processes for millions of years trying to find out the answer to life, the universe, and everything. And at the end of the millions of years when it's done processing, the answer it gives is 42. Yep, <laughs> the number 42. And so then the... The, the, then the problem is like, okay, if that's the answer, then what's the question? What's the question? So, okay, so that's important for this epiphany that I had. So I had this, this, this uh, uh, um, really it's, a, it's an event handler, but basically it was like, hey, should I collapse this thing? So may, maybe collapse. It's, it was telling it like on every, anyway, I had this method called maybe collapse. And so it does a couple of things. <laughs> This was pre-existing code, by the way, so you know, don't blame the nested if statements on me. Um, so uh, if the position is beyond the minimum trigger position, then if it's not already collapsed, collapse it. Else, 
meaning it's not beyond the minimum trigger position. If it is collapsed, well, then expand it to so bring it back up. So it's this thing, you go up and down the page, you go down the page, it collapses, you go back up the page, it expands. That was kind of what it was doing. So the first thing I was doing was I was like, well, let me, let me see, like this is just going back and forth. So what I decided to do is I made a, like a toggle method that was just the same behavior to do toggle. Doo -doo. And so like, all I wanted to do was like toggle it from one state to the next. So, um, and, and this got me thinking like I, this nested if statement, I gotta, I gotta find a way to get rid of this, but I couldn't quite like get my head around it. And then I started thinking about this like, comparison right here. And I was like, well, I want to break that out into its own method. Like I want that to be, cause that's, you know, I, I want to be able to name that thing. So the first name I came up with was uh, something like um, uh, uh, beyond, sorry, I should have thought about needing to type. <laughs> um, minimum. Uh, <laughs> depends on uh, how much, you know, okay. I could also set it down, then type, then pick it back up. Thank you. Okay, so beyond minimum or beyond Tr trigger point, right? Yeah, beyond trigger point. Okay, and then this stuff right here, ba 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 ba, and if I really was, there we go, there we go. Okay, cool, thank you. Yeah. Um, so I thought about this, like beyond trigger point, and that's very like to the point, like that's what I'm asking right there. Is it beyond the trigger point? And so I did that and I was like, I don't know, that doesn't feel uh, uh, quite, uh, I don't know, it felt very on the nose. And so I don't know, I don't know, I, I, this came from nowhere, but then I realized like, no, what I'm really asking right here, the question that is really, really important is not if I'm beyond the trigger point, I don't, I don't actually really care about that or that's just that's just a consequence of this what I really care about is should be oh well, okay this one's shorter should be collapsed that's what that's what I really care about is should this be collapsed and so once I did that once I came up with that name then all right I want to set this down okay all right I'll have it to you okay then what I realized was, oh, I can combine this. Da, da, da. Should be collapsed. Then I realized that all of this logic, because of the way like should be collapsed and not collapsed and should or isn't, you know, not should be collapsed and collapsed, what this became was if collapsed is not equal to, forget the literature things, um, ligature things. Um, yeah. eh, typing in front of people is easy. Yeah. <laughs> so basically what it came down to was, wait, if these things are out of sync, then toggle it so that they're in sync. That was kind of like the big thing. And what I realized and, and, and what helped me come to that, and I had this like, I thought about Hitchhiker's Guide, is it wasn't so much about the answer, it was what's the question? The question was what was important. Like, so anyway, when it comes to like breaking things down into smaller chunks, my kind of wisdom to share, the thing that I learned that I'll probably think is a bad idea in a month is that <laughs> What Matt, that, that the question is just as important as the answer. And so coming up with a good question uh, is, uh, is, is worthwhile. Anyway, thank you. Oh, I guess question, questions? I don't know. What's an untitled two? Oh. <laughs> uh, the question is just as important as the answer. I didn't want to forget that wording, but I remembered it without needing to look, so good question. <laughs> Yes. All right. Thank you. <laughs>